Hey yo, what's up? Moji here, and we have a surprise for today. <laughs> Actually, probably not much of a surprise since you know what's gonna happen with the title of this video. But hey, I wasn't expecting for this to arrive this early, so it's enough of a, sur enough of a surprise for me. So today, we're going to be opening up my new Kepler Troubleshooter album. So let's get right to it. I still have to cut through the plastic. So here goes. I have to be a bit careful about this so it's not to damage anything inside. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to cut some more. I can't just rip it apart. I mean rip the plastic apart. Okay. Oops. Oh. You have some photo cards already. Here we go. So first the the POB photo cards. Who do we have here? <laughs> okay, first up we have Hikaru. I think that's Hikaru, right? <laughs> kind of trippy seeing Hikaru with that hair. And then we have Hikaru again with the translucent photo card. And Eugene. So, pretty nice so far. Hikaru and Eugene. Now, let's get to opening this album up. So, I have to cut through some more plastic. Careful! Don't want to damage anything. Oh, great! My my scissors are not getting anything. Okay, we're getting there. We are getting there. <laughs> Here we go. Pretty nice box. Let's see what we are in for. Oh, there it is. Okay. For a minute there, I couldn't pull it out. Okay. Let's just set that down for a moment. So, as usual, we will be saving the photo book for last. Let's open up the packet. Oh! Oh no, a bunch of stuff is spilled out already. Okay. Couple of photo cards. We have another Eugen.
pretty nice in this picture. And then we have... I'm blanking. It looks really really different in this photo card. Who is this? What? Please correct me if I'm wrong. Is that Mashiro? Doesn't look like Mashiro. Huh. But I can't think of any other member who looks like that. Oh no, wait, sorry! Wait, what? It's not Mashiro, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. This is shouting. It doesn't look like shouting. But <laughs> Really? I'll hold it up a bit closer. Does that look like shouting? Okay, there's one thing that gave it away though. It's because we have a kind of like circular button over here. That's the same person. And it says shouting in the back. Also, we have a hero license. Also of shouting. With her signature. Wow, like. Like, I kind of recognize her in that that circular button thing in the hero license, but I barely recognize shouting in this one. Very trippy. So what else do we have? I have a troubleshooter sticker. At least I think that's a sticker. We have even more stickers. Very cool. They they went kind of like with uh, you know the old school technology kind of thing. Of course, we already saw hints of that in Wadada, right? I believe in my reaction to Wadada that that was quite a while ago already. I mentioned it's like, uh, you know, space age technology, but from like the 60s or 70s. Like during the space race. And then we have a kind of brochure. You know, the kind of thing that you can fi find, like, like an instruction manual. But really, it's it's more of the credits and lyrics of the songs. Yeah, not, not, nothing much to see here. Just like that. And then... Like this. Uh, yeah, then, then we have, like... Yeah, the songs. Credits, lyrics at the bottom. But it's folded up like an instruction manual of uh, gadgets that you usually find. And then, of course, we have the CD. So nice. Okay, let me all put that back into the packet. Oh, 
So, uh, photo cards that we have here. Yeah. Shouting, Eugene. Then earlier, couple of Hikarus and Eugene again. So, not much diversity on the photo cards for this haul. But still pretty good. Like, Eugene is still one of my bi bias wreckers, so I'm pretty glad they got Eugene. Now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's take a look at the photo book. Let me just cut this stuff to the side. Let's open up a window here for the photo book. Okay, so troubleshooter. Here we go. Okay, we have a shot of them in the kinda schoolgirl outfits from Refresh. I really like that hat on Hikaru. Kinda like makes her look like some sort of I don't know, like some other kind of anime uh, character that I can't quite think of right now. And then we have the names of the members in order of age, yeah. Eugene, Shouting, Mashiro, Cheyun, Dayan, Hikaru, Kie, Youngun, and Yeso. Of course, we're starting off with Eugene. Wow, these shots. And Eugene's facial expressions here look very expressive. Move that a little bit there. Okay. I like how, uh, like Eugene's wearing like black and kind of like gray or i don't know if that's just like white in the low light and then we just have like a mostly back black background with uh some minor lit up parts and uh, like a gray beam behind her but uh with all that gray and black it kind of uh helps make uh eugene's face pop out so I think that's the intention that they have here in, with this style of photography. Oh, now we have some more urban shots. So this is like in warm light, in uh, but during the night time. So yeah, uh, Eugene against the city background. And we have shouting. Yeah, really, I didn't, I can't, uh, I didn't really recognize this as shouting right away. But I probably should have guessed earlier with how big the eyes are. But uh, yeah, that's probably why I initially thought it was Smashero, because of the eyes. But apparently it is shouting. I'm actually digging this look for shouting. Like, um, how do I even describe the hair? Like, actually, seems like a hairstyle that maybe Mashiro used to have. <laughs> maybe. That's also another reason why I probably confused the two. Okay, oh, then we have the the night shots in warm light. Just a kind of um, kind of an eerie effect over here for shouting shots.
I'm loving the quality of these. There's sort of a feel to these shots that... I, I can't quite explain it. But um, one thing that I can probably say is that it fits the album quite well with what we've heard from Refresh. Um, I actually haven't listened to the other tracks of the album yet, but I'm going to do a re uh, reaction to that sometime in the near future. Uh, but I believe uh, Captors The Girls Can't Turn Me Down is also on this album. So with Refresh and then The Girls Can't Turn Me Down, uh, there's there really is this this gritty urban feel to the album with those two songs okay I can't say the same for the other tracks but they might be along those lines as well who knows uh, anyways that's also what I'm kind of getting from uh, these photos okay next up we have Mashiro so Mashiro actually has less bangs this time, just like a few strands, but mostly her hair is more parted now. So it's also kind of a different look for her. And her hair is slightly browner this comeback, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit more brown than black. Again, the expressions on their faces, they, they're kind of haunting. Um, like, so far, like, we haven't seen smiles on Eugene shouting and now Mashiro. But it's the eyes where the, uh, that's where the emotion is coming through in these shots. Okay, now we have the warm light photos. Yeah, the warm light is somehow even more haunting because especially this this picture here on the right um, because of the background and since with that warm light I'm not sure if it's it's the actual lighting or if it's a filter but uh, this photo on the right it makes Mashiro's skin tone look the same as the wall behind her. And so, it gives you that haunting feeling like... Kind of like a... Uh, like these spooky urban ghost vibes. Uh, not quite sure. But yeah, it is haunting for me. Okay, next up we have Cheyun. Oh, she looks really, really good here. I'm especially loving these shots of Cheyun somehow. Like, I know she's my bias, so I am biased towards her, but... Still, look at this. Just, it's just beautiful. The photos are beautiful. Ooh, wait a minute. Are these supposed to be the warm light shots? Okay. These are interesting. It's kind of different. There is some warm lighting coming through, but it's only on one side. Um, the photo here on the left is a bit smaller, but it's kind of the same lighting. So we have this interesting effect of like, like yellowing turning pale, and yeah, I love the artistry in these shots. So if these are part of the warm light shots, it's really cool. They did something a bit different here. This one is more like the the warm light shots of the other members. But I love the pose that Cheyenne is doing here, and once again, like 
yeah no smile and then the eyes are looking somewhere else but there you can even kind of feel some sort of emotion in those eyes like there is something that is worth pondering about loving these shots now we have Dion and Dion has these glowing lights in her hair okay that's also a bit different and I'm not quite sure if it's really like that but I think she might be wearing brown contacts like a lighter brown than I think what her eyes normally look like yeah kind of makes her eyes pop out a bit because um, the lightness of the brown is just different enough that you're drawn to it like you're drawn to her eyes Ooh, I'm loving these warm light shots for Tyon. Not sure if it's coming out in the camera correctly. Um, actually, looking at the camera now, it's coming out even more, probably than in in what I'm seeing in real life and what you're seeing in this video. The warm light is kind of pinkish, so it's only a subtle pink with what I'm seeing. Although looking at my video recording right now, it's a uh, you see the pink much more. So interesting, really interesting. Okay, then back here. Now the lights in her hair are kind of streaked or spread out a bit. So they're probably like. I think hmm. if it is actual lights that they put in her hair I don't know I might need to watch a behind the scenes for this but if it's actual lights I think for this shot it they might have put it in deeper so that it will uh, the light will spread a bit more passing through the rest of the hair that's just my guess that's if they use actual lights placed in Diane's hair again the expressiveness of the eyes even if even though like the lower part of the face yeah not much emotion but you can really feel things from the way they're staring at the camera Hikaru with the cap I'm not sure if that's like bunny ears or what. But I love that cap on Hikaru. I, I, I would... My first instinct is to say adorable, but... It's not really adorable. She looks... You know... Uh... I also can't say fierce. It's neither adorable nor fierce, but probably somewhere in between when it comes to this look on Hikaru. Especially with the, the reddish hair. Uh, it's, it's quite a look for her. Okay, now this is... Um, I still can't come up with the words. Uh, not adorable nor fierce. I could say cool, but uh, that that word doesn't fit either. Probably the best word that comes to mind right now would be striking 
This look on Hikaru is just striking. Okay, do we have the warm light shots? Ooh. The warm light shots on Hikaru look even uh Okay, it's kind of an oxymoron. The warm light shots on Hikaru look even cooler. Get it? Warm, cool. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah. He just looks really great in the sh in these shots. Now we have here. I love his what's that blazer? I love his blazer. It looks like it's um well from this shot here on the right. It looks more like it's actually bedazzled. Um, let me just take a closer look on the shot on the left. Yeah. All of the the stuff written and uh, all of the images on the blazer look like they're bedazzling gems. So yeah, such a such a cool piece of fashion that he is wearing. I also like her hair. You have this thin braid. Or thin braids, rather, running down uh, the sides of her face. Feels like uh, a character from one of the Final Fantasy games that I've never played before. <laughs> Not sure which, though. I'm loving this shot. It's slightly blurred on the sides, even going here, uh, he even over here to the right, going towards the front of her face. And there's just something about it. You can really feel the artistry in these photos. These are the warm light shots. This. this is kind of looking a bit weird to me like no not exactly weird more just interesting like the warm light shots again we're going into contradictions here the warm light shots make her hair look wet for some reason Feels like she just stepped out of a lake or something. Okay, now we have Youngun. Ooh. These banks on Youngun. Now these banks actually look like the original Mashiro banks. I'm not wait. I wouldn't say original Mashiro banks, but they look like banks that Masheros had before. <laughs> but in this case, I can really tell it's Youngun, right? Uh, unlike with shouting earlier, uh, it's more of like the hair looks like Masheros' former hair, uh, hairstyle. But the face, yeah, you can easily tell it's Youngun. But again, all of the members' eyes in these shots so far, like. Really, really expressive. Oh, wow! So young and over here in the in these shots, she has blue streaks in her hair. Really, really cool. I like the blue streaks in her hair. It's it, um, it's a nice accentuation, especially. With the fact that these are also like nighttime pictures. These are the warm light shots. 
we still have the blue extensions. No, I, th I think the blue extensions are not here. But her hair, the layering here. Looks really cool. Again, warm cool. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, I love for the way she stares at the camera here. Very deep and soulful. Now we have Yeso. <laughs> okay, now I just have to laugh. If you guys have watched my reaction to We Fresh, Yes is the uh the member who actually made the most impact on me. And now uh, um the reason why she impacted me in my reaction of We Fresh is that <coughs> Yeso just looked plain evil in that uh MV but you know, only in the best way. This shot here on the left. I'm getting those vibes again. If looks could kill, like... I'd be dead twice over. Hey, these other shots. This shot, wow. And she has um, pink extensions. Nice. Really goes well with her blonde hair. Then the warm light shots. Yeah, these look eerie as well. Especially with that that background right with with the way with the way they utilize this background and the way it's lit so the skin tone kind of matches the background and so you have this like ghostly kind of feeling some sort of ethereal feeling to it And then we have the members uh, like along a ledge on an upper corridor. Very stoic faces all around. Okay, then we have this. Okay. That's it. So they actually separated the the credits and lyrics out of the photo book like i i believe previous photo books had the the lyrics and credits at the end but of course in this album we had it in the like the what looked like a manual or user guide earlier so yeah that's my haul for the Troubleshooter album. By the way, for anyone who doesn't know, this is the Midnight version. So that's what I got. Probably that's why the uh, the photos in here are like that. Uh, goes with the theme. Um, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the other photo books have different photo sets in them. That's why people who can afford it, they tend to buy all versions of an album. As for me, uh, one is enough. So, pretty good haul. Especially like the Eugene photo cards. Oh! One more thing. We got the poster. So this is the last thing we're gonna check out. Here we go.
I wonder what the poster will look like. So for the first two albums, which you can see behind me, there's a bit of the first Impact album there, and then the Dub Dust album is right behind. I got uh, Mashiro and Yeso posters. Come to think of it, until now, I still don't have a Yeso photo card. Okay. Poster reveal time. It's like bottom up. Okay, it's it's the group shot. Okay, so we have it's hard to see. Tayon, Hie, Eugene. Who's this other one? Is that Yeso? Yeso and Mashiro above. And then here below, we have Cheyun, Hikaru, and. Uh, sorry. Cheyun, Hikaru, Yongun, and. Thing. So that's the troubleshooter poster. Kinda mixed feelings about the poster though. I'm glad I finally got the poster with all the members on it. However, you know, the space that the members take up on the poster is pretty small. <laughs> I would probably have liked the poster where we have, you know, more, more acreage dedicated to the members. But you know, we have a Mashiro and the Yeso poster, so we have like giant <laughs> depictions of Mashiro and Yeso. So compared to that, uh, not, uh, at least now we have a poster with all the members. Okay. Mm -hmm. It untwisted diagonally. Okay, there we go. Just slide this back in here. So all in all, pretty happy with this album. Uh, less diversity on the photo cards, unlike previous albums that I've gotten, like uh, First Impact and Dub Last, where you know I got a lot of different members' photo cards. Enough that. I have every member except Yeso uh, with just those two albums. <laughs> uh, over here, uh, more doubles, but it's fine. Uh, because, well, <laughs> I, you know, I like all the members. And so we have like two of Hikaru, two of Eugene, uh, one of Shouting plus the, the circular shouting button and the the hero license for shouting so yeah i'd say it's a pretty good haul and i i especially love the photo book the shots were just so artistic uh it gave this kind of uh depth to the members of kepler that i've rarely seen before so yeah, uh, I'm just happy this I was able to actually get this because I missed the I actually missed the pre-ordering. 
you know what with me having to uh fund my surgery last month so i missed the pre-ordering that's why uh i was kind of surprised this arrived well this early even with me ordering you know past the release date usually in my experience in the past like uh whenever i would pre-order an album it takes months for it to get to my country this one is this one arrived in less than two weeks yeah less than two weeks since i ordered this pretty fast oh well, pretty fast for my country because really k-pop albums take a while to get to my country I just noticed the, uh, there's some decorations here uh, or, or like imprinted stuff here in the front of the box. The members' names are here. So it, it looks kind of cool, especially with that metallic dark blue. I'm not sure if you can see it that well. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm probably just repeating myself right now. Really, really happy with this one. Although, uh, probably my uh, my best album opening so far to date probably would have been the the Doblest. Cause well, <laughs> the Doblest album you can see back here that had the uh, the pop up card from Cheyun and the the letter. So. Uh, yeah, so far, nothing has been able to top my uh, dub last opening. But yeah. Really, really happy with this. Especially with... Actually, this is probably the photo card I appreciate the most in this... Uh, in this album opening. Because it's, uh, well, Hikaru with red hair. And I think uh, we're gonna be hard pressed to find uh, Hikaru with this hair color again in the future. So yeah. Okay, so that's it for my Kepler Troubleshooter album opening. Uh, al album unboxing, sorry. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for uh coming with me on this wonderful journey with kepler it's been almost hmm almost five months since i started this journey on youtube starting off with kepler and i'm just uh Really, really thankful, really, really uh, joyful that I decided to go on this journey. So, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, feel free to check out my Patreon, where I post reactions to... You know longer form content more casual content than you would probably find on my channel here on youtube but well most of it is available for free so don't be afraid to check it out uh the link to my patreon is in the description down below anyways uh yeah that's it for this video until next time have a great day everyone and hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.